Hey y'all, how's it going? Everybody been wondering about the uh, Days of the Dead, uh, how it went this weekend at Indianapolis, you know, being the whole COVID thing, being the first uh, con back on. Um, it was an uh, interesting experience. It was a definitely scaled down con compared to usual. I mean, usually you have at least two, three vendor rooms completely full to the brim. This time you had one big vendor room and everybody was all spread out. Number of vendors probably was, I'd say at least a third of what's usually there. Um, of course, our guests, uh, they were scaled down as well due to cancellations last minute and so on and so forth, you know. I think there was a total of 13 guests there. Um, surprisingly enough, uh, you know, there were some guests there that I didn't expect were going to be there. Um, uh, the gentleman from uh, Mr. Browning from uh, the Creature Black, Black Lagoon was there at 90 years old. Um, it was kind of nice to see him. His daughter was telling us that, you know, he's been cooped up in his house ever since all this started and really wanted to get to see people. Um, he was getting depressed because of, you know, not being out and about. So they decided to take the risk and come on up. Um, we really appreciate that he did. It was nice talking to him and getting a hold of him and getting his autograph, obviously. Um, which is what me and my wife are solely about. My wife is the 100% horror person. I'm, I'm kind of her, you know, uh, right hand man, help her get everything she wants. Cause you know, uh, if mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. Anyways, um, the, uh, the guests were varied. Uh, they were all in pleasantly good moods and, you know, the lines to get up to them were, non-existent most of the part um, uh, Tony Moran had a you know a five to ten person line pretty much the entire time that we were there on Friday night um, but at, towards the end we were still able to walk right straight up to him um, all the other guests you know he was pretty much walk straight up you got to actually sit there and talk to him for a change which was really nice um, speaking with CJ Graham was really nice and like he was saying you know this is a good way to gauge the way they're going to proceed with cons here the rest of the year if at all you know and all depending on each different state um he was he was very adamant about trying to keep his mask on to go because he wants to be able to do the cons um he loves seeing his fans um some of the guys though they were a little bit more lax um uh warrington gillette he he, he, 90% of the time, he'd catch himself and try to put his mask back up. But most of the time, he kept it down and got pictures with his fans. And, you know, the same thing with uh, Tony Moran. Tony would, really didn't care. He was he was going to take a picture with you whether you wanted it or not. I mean, Tony was really good about it. Um, he uh, was all, I mean, anyways, it was just a really good time. Um, like I said, it was, it was actually really scaled back though I mean vendors were like I said non-existent pretty much I mean there was a few good ones a few average ones um, you tell there was a lot of holes where they had people that had planned to come and then ended up not coming or maybe they may have showed up on Saturday night or Saturday morning uh, but that Friday night they hadn't set up um, but overall, it was really, really a good experience. Um, can't complain at all. Uh, I actually really enjoyed myself. Um, we'll definitely go back. There was rumor, not not necessarily can't hold anything to it, but from what we'd talked to some people that uh, Days of the Dead were trying to take over uh, Horror Hound's slot here in September. Uh, as everybody knows by now, Horror Hound in Indianapolis has canceled uh, for September and uh, if they can get it to go uh, they knew they were in negotiations with the hotel and everything else Days of the Dead is trying to come back in September so just a little information out there for you guys um, you'll have my reviews also uh, I'm going to attach to this video as well me and the wife walking around you'll see that the you know vendor room is teeny tiny with vendors compared to usual um, I didn't do too much in the uh, autograph room because it was just 
each individual autograph persons and a couple vendors in the center so I really didn't get much of that other than if you want to go down through each individual video and see uh, the guy sign for us um, peace out guys all right days of the dead COVID edition So what you thinking? Pretty cool for being just a little, just a little uh, convention. Really, I thought it was great. I mean, you actually got to see more people, which is kind of cool. I it's mean, too. Yeah, there was talk to them more. nobody. I mean, there's nobody here really. I mean, fan wise, I mean, you've got some good, real good uh, stars that are here signing. So, and they've been so personable. They just want to spend the time with you, and, which is what we want to do anyways. So, go over here and go through the vendors. We really haven't gone through them too much, but there's not a whole lot of vendors here, is there? No, not today. Uh, as you can see, there's like nobody here. Yeah, there's the masks that one of the masks that he's looking at. Sam. <laughs> Oh, that is cute. I do like that. Oh, oh no. Green one's neat that too. is neat. Oh, wow. Yep. You stole it from him? I gave that to you, sir. <laughs> okay, that's not bad, really. figure something out or if not then plan on bringing him with us next time anyways yeah <laughs> see now this is this is probably the coolest one I think here how much he got on his masks? It's like 40. That's not bad then. Yep. <laughs> hey, it's cool. Really? Like, are you 
Yeah. 